गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टर्न टू टू पॉइंट टू वन सो इन टू पॉइंट टू वन वी हैव टू डिसाइड वेदर दिस गिवन इक्वेशन इज क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन और नॉट सो This one nine y square plus five is equal to zero. I will call this as quadratic equation. Why I am calling this as quadratic equation? At first, I will write it in the standard form. See that the standard form is a x square plus b x. Plus c is equal to zero, so it will be nine y square plus zero y. Okay. Plus five is equal to zero. Now observe this with keen eyes. You will say that it is a quadratic equation. Because variable is one only, which is y, okay, and highest index miss degree of this equation is two. So this one is satisfying both conditions that variable should be single only. And degree means highest index should be two only. So this is satisfying both conditions. So it is a quadratic equation. It is a quadratic equation because. It is satisfying both conditions. That first condition is variable is one only y and highest index is two. Observing this example, you can get the point that then only we will call the given equation as an quadratic equation. If that variable is one or single, and degree means highest index should be two, maximum index should be two, degree should be two only. Then only we will call it as a quadratic equation. Study this second one. M cube minus five m square plus four is equal to zero. Can I call this one as quadratic equation? No and never, because it is satisfying first condition that variable is one only, that is m. But it is not satisfying second condition. See here, degree means highest index is three, and we don't want highest index miss degree three. We want highest index miss degree two. So we are denying that this is not. It is not a. Quadratic equation. Okay. Now see third one. That third one is m plus two into m minus five is equal to zero. At a glance, you will deny. You will say that it is not a quadratic equation. But study properly. If There is no sign in between. I will assume the sign as multiplication. So m plus two into m minus five. 
that means I have to multiply this bracket by this bracket. That means I have to multiply this each and every term by this each and every term. So come on, we will multiply. It will come as m into m, m square, okay? m into minus 5, it will come as minus 5m, okay? Then, plus 2 into m, plus 2m, plus 2 into minus 5, 2 5s will come as 10, plus into minus in multiplication will come as minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, it will come as m square minus 3m. Why minus 3m? Minus 5m plus 2m. That will come as minus 3m minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, observe this equation. And now, I am saying that this is a quadratic equation. Why I am saying it is a quadratic equation? Because here degree means highest index is 2. And there is a single variable m. Means this equation now is satisfying actual this one. Okay. Now this equation is satisfying both conditions. That highest index means degree is 2. And there is a single variable m. So it is a quadratic equation. So remember in 3.1 they have asked you that decide whether given equation is a quadratic equation or not. For that we have to follow two conditions. That first condition is variable should be single. Okay, that variable should be single. See in this example, there is a single variable m. See in this example, there is single variable y. And second condition is that degree. What do you mean by degree? Degree means highest index must be 2. So in 3.1, we have to remember that in 2.1, we have to remember that then only we will call the given quadratic equation as given equation as quadratic equation if variable is single and degree means highest index is 2. So in 2.1 we learn this point that then only we will call it as quadratic equation if it is satisfying two conditions that first condition should be variable should be single like m, like y, whatever may be. But that should be single and that degree means highest index must be 2. Okay. 